Hi guys, Wilhelm here, and today I want to take a look at the oldest chess game ever recorded. It was played between two Spanish players, Castelvi and Vinoles, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, 1475 in Valencia. And when I say the oldest chess game ever recorded, I mean it's the oldest chess game ever recorded played with rules which are similar to today's rules. Because older iterations of the chess game didn't have queens or bishops, for example. And interesting fact is that in 1475, uh, the en passant rule was still not existent. So all the folks at Anarchy Chess uh, couldn't accomplish their biggest dream. Alright, let's just jump right into it. So, the player with the white pieces opens with e4. And at that period of time, as of move 1, we reach a completely new position because this is the first time that this position has ever been reached in history, in recorded history at least. I'm sure people played that before. Alright, so we have d5, the Scandinavian defense, although I doubt either of the player knew that that's what it's called. And we have ed5, queen d5, and knight c3, so white claims that black's queen is a little bit awkward in the center of the board and we'll have to retreat. So we have queen d8, bishop c4, very principal development chess, and knight f6, knight to f3, and bishop g4 pinning the knight. And this is already uh, quite the big blunder for black, because here white has this very crazy resource. Knight to e5, giving up the queen, get checkmate. However, the player with the white pieces did not see that tactic. It's hard to blame him because it's, it's not an obvious one. And plays the move h3, trying to kick the bishop. We have bishop takes f3, queen takes f3. And here, black's b7 pawn is hanging. But, uh, at that time in chess history, and all throughout until the 1900s, uh, we had a much more romantic vision of chess. What I mean by romantic is that people didn't care about material and positional play that much. It was more important to play extremely aggressively, sacrifice a lot of material for a flashy checkmate. And so, this might help explain black's next move, ignoring this b7 pawn completely and playing the move e6 and trying to develop the dark square bishop as quickly as possible. So alright, um, a free pawn is a free pawn, white grabs the pawn on b7 now, the rook is attacked, so you have to play knight to d7. But now white continues the attack with knight b5. Now this pawn is under attack. So we have rook to c8 defending the pawn, but now knight takes a7. And uh, what are you going to do with this rook? Uh, probably the best thing to do here for black is to play rook b8. And let's say after queen to f3, knight e5. And all of a sudden black pieces get very active. Let's say queen 2 takes, takes, uh, rook to b6 to protect the c6 square. Let's say a knight to b5. And although this position is worse for black, I mean it's still playable and there is still quite some dynamic chances. However, in this position, uh, black didn't go for this um, rook to b8, but rather played the move knight to b6, giving up an exchange. So we have takes, takes, and now b4, gaining some space in the center. Of course, you cannot take this pawn because you just lose your knight. Uh, so now knight to d6, attacking the queen and the bishop. We have check, takes, check, knight goes back, and now d5. d5 is a very aggressive move and its goal is after ed5, which happened in the game, now the king is open and still in the center and white is going to try to attack and checkmate. So. We have bishop to e3, bishop to d6, rook to d1, attacking the pawn, 
queen to f6 and now takes queen to g6 maybe going after this pawn maybe going after this pawn and now we have bishop f4 so white plays a super delayed london system um and it's actually a trap so black plays bishop f4 falling right into the trap and now we have mate in two so queen takes d7 king f8 and queen d8 checkmate so it's a very nice attacking game um where both players blundered but I mean it's the first recorded game in history so people were not uh, that strong players at that time I think it shows a little bit of this spirit of attacking chess so yeah I hope you enjoyed it and as usual leave a like subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below thank you very much and have an excellent rest of your day